Rick in New Hampshire writes to me, Paul, you've offered advice on matching amps to speakers many times, and one thing continues to stump me, or to at least elude me. I often see 100 watt 8 ohm high efficiency speakers matched with a 44 watt 8 ohm all tube amplifier. This goes against what I've always heard about a higher wattage amp being a better match and the dangers of a low powered amp when it comes to clipping. So why do I often see the above scenario in high end audio setups? Well, it's a good question and let's, let's talk about that. So why is there a danger in clipping? So we know using a low powered amplifier that if it does clip, when it'll make a square wave, right? It'll <laughs> especially on a solid state amplifier. And when it does that, you run the risk of damaging your tweeter. And that, that's, the big, that's the big risk. So why do people on a consistent basis use like uh, single ended triode tube set amps, right? Maybe they're 12 watts, 20 watts, and they run it into a speaker that needs much, much more. So a couple of things to think about. Yes, it's done all the time. Tubes clip very gently. So when you have a tube amplifier that's clipping, especially a tube amplifier that has an output transformer which rolls off or rounds off the output, it's pretty much impossible to get a square wave through there. So you're not going to really risk damaging your tweeter as you might with a solid state amplifier that is more than capable of making a pure square wave that comes out of there and causing some damage. So specific to tube amplifiers, that's part of the deal. Second thing is, surprisingly, regardless of how big your amp you have, we rarely put many watts into a speaker. And if we do put watts into a speaker, it's almost always in the bottom end. I would say that for the average sensitivity loudspeaker, playing loudly, mid-range and tweeter, 20 watts would be unusual. 30 watts. It, it's just, it's really stunning. If you ever see like those cool Macintosh amplifiers that I, I'm not a big fan of their sound, but they do look cool. And they have those meters on the front, which aren't all that useful because they're not very quick. But what you can see is that even on the loudest passages, when it's not trying to put out some bass, which does take a lot of watts, you'll see it's just, wee, 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 wee. it's just moving just a little bit. So there aren't many watts generally used mid-range and tweeter. So for the most part, that's okay. Now, I like lots and lots of headroom. I like big amps, but there is a value in smaller tube-based amplifiers. They have a certain sound to them that people love. I like it too. It's not what I would choose for myself, but it can sound really cool. So, all right, hope that helps. Thanks for the question. Bye.